What's up, guys? I'm Ashley Jenkins, and Mark Rubin of Infinity Ward has started the week off by saying that he doesn't believe most Call of Duty players are even gamers. Well, depending on how you define gamer. They aren't hardcore gamers or even gamers, but they play Call of Duty every night, he says. So clearly, he defines a gamer as someone who plays multiple franchises regularly. And given that definition, he's got a point. In spite of the online sentiment that often turns nasty towards the game and its fans, it continues to sell like crazy. Think about it. Black Ops 2 is regarded as weak sales performance for the franchise, at 23 million copies. Interestingly, this enormous casual gaming audience segment is the reason they finally decided to include female soldiers as an option. According to Ruben, we cover such a dramatic range of people who play our game that we wanted to be as inclusive as we possibly could with character customization. And that's where the idea came from. Why wouldn't we have a female then? Moving on to other titles that sell bazillions of copies, Rockstar has acknowledged a detail of their latest GTA Online title update that they kind of left out of the patch notes. After the update, our commenters reported dramatically reduced payouts for repeating missions. This couldn't be a mistake, could it? Nope. Today, Rockstar has admitted they've halved the payouts for missions after the first time you play them, saying, We understand players do like to enjoy a mission multiple times, so rather than remove the possibility of doing so, we've allowed replays of these missions at a reduced payout. So there you have it, guys. The alternative they were considering was simply making missions playable only once. So in that light, a half payout doesn't seem so bad, but it still sucks to get surprised by that change. And moving down from the bazillions to the still doing pretty well category, Lionhead Studios game director David Eckleberry has revealed that the studio plans to augment their upcoming Fable Legends multiplayer game with episodic content, with the idea being to continue creating new elements of playable story for several years. Fable has a long history of being a guinea pig for Xbox's new features. Fable 1 was one of the first available digital titles on Xbox 360 when they launched Games On Demand. Fable 2 allowed gamers to earn money through Fable Pup games before it launched and then expanded on the digital release front by splitting the game into two episodes, the first of which was free to try to entice players into purchasing the rest of the game. Fable 3 showed you where other random players were in the game world with their weird light-up orb things. Fable The Journey was one of Microsoft's big attempts to get core gamers into Kinect. Did I miss any? Is this new idea to provide a full game, then continue creating episodes over the course of years their newest way to test unfamiliar waters? Or do we just call that DLC? And next up, Nintendo is working on crossplay titles. But these aren't titles you play on both your Wii U and 3DS, even though that would be pretty awesome. They're talking about the ability to play a game on Wii U against someone who's playing on PS3. Cool, right? Well, assuming that Sony agrees. Nintendo's confirmed that their upcoming surefire blockbuster, Pure Chess, will have the ability to play with people who are using the PS3 version of the game, and they're working with developers on more crossplay titles. Their system already has a few games that are beginning to explore that space. Disney Infinity has a mobile level building app that integrates with the console version, and Cubeman 2 allows Wii U players to explore and build levels with those on mobile platforms. Pure Chess would be the first to have crossplay between console platforms. But the ball is now in Sony's court as to whether we'll see that feature. And that's the news today. Are you a hardcore Call of Duty fan who feels Infinity Ward isn't giving you enough credit? Has the payout adjustment in GTA affected your virtual standard of living? Should John Cleese return to Butler for Fable Legends? And how likely do you think it is that we'll see this Wii U PS3 crossplay? Let us know in the comments below. Then check out roosterteeth.com for more of our videos. The Gauntlet is back, and we're podcasting, and the Achievement Hunters are pumping out Let's Plays and Guides until their fingers fall off.